My name is Mohamed Virji. Um, my uh, work is at the University of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and my host country was Oman in the Middle East. The Fulbright year that I spent in Oman was year 2009 to 2010 for a period of six months from September through March. And my field of study is medicine, specifically pathology. I'm a professor of pathology at the School of Medicine, University of Pittsburgh, um, and I've been there for several years. Um, and this was an opportunity for me to contribute and also to experience teaching and doing research in a location which was very different from what I was used to. My work was uh, focused in three areas. The predominant part of my work was in developing part of a curriculum to teach pathophysiology and biochemistry to pre-medical students. So these were freshmen entering into college, but uh, freshmen who had four years of English, and all of their coursework was going to be in English. So before they went to medical school, they got introductory classes, elementary classes, and the challenge for the host institution, Oman Medical College, was to have cases which are appropriate for the level of English skills as well as scientific skills for the students. So that was my primary work. I also participated in two other areas. I mentored junior faculty members in the School of Pharmacy there in research projects and research proposals. And we had a two-part approach to this. We started by uh, allocating time for students in School of Pharmacy to conduct research project, which was a three to six month project, primarily literature based, which would give the students an experience on methods for conducting research. But the faculty members got interested in the approach that I suggested. And one junior faculty member asked me if I could mentor him in developing a research project. So that was very exciting and we are continuing that project and we plan to submit it to the Oman Research Council for funding. The third area, which was the smallest part of my overall work, was exploring the evolution and development of medical care and healthcare delivery overall in Oman in the last four decades. So those are the three areas where I got involved and all those three areas were very exciting for me, very productive, and I gained a lot professionally from my work in all those three areas. Uh, let me address the second question first, which is what made me think about Fulbright program? Um, I blame my daughter, and blame me is a mild word, uh, really. She, she is a wonderful person. Uh, so she asked me where I was considering going. And there were three countries where I had worked previously, briefly, or for some time, and I was considering going back. And those were Tanzania, Nepal, or uh, uh, Philippines. So she said, consider Oman. And my question to her was, why Oman? Um, and she said, it's simple, because Dad, you were born in Tanzania, and Oman, had a lot of influence in Zanzibar and in Tanzania, and you would recognize the way of life, and you would recognize the foods and the friendliness of the people and the cultural life in Oman, and they need somebody with your background to be there for a while. The other part of your question, what was I doing when I considered uh, uh, Fulbright uh, program? Uh, I was at a stage in my academic career when I needed to take time off. I talked to my chairman, and my chairman agreed to allow me um, at the most six months away from the department on a sabbatical leave of absence. So that opened the door for me to consider various options. And uh, Fulbright uh, program was a very good option for me to consider. And I applied for Fulbright, proposing that I go and teach in Oman and do research in Oman. So that's how it got started.
the experience of living in a host country uh, definitely poses uh, certain issues that one has to consider ahead of time. It's not an hotel stay as a tourist for a week or two weeks really and that's the biggest change. Um, I hadn't really uh, stayed for the length of time in any country previously that I was going to stay in Oman. So my wife and I, my wife accompanied me to Oman for the duration of our project. Um, we decided that we would rent a place, we would rent a car, and we would uh, live in a neighborhood which was an Omani neighborhood, not an expatriate neighborhood. So when we got there, uh, it was the month of Ramadan, it was the coming to the end of the month of fasting. And uh, it was a challenge for the first few days to actually find anyone to show us apartments. Because people had kept business activities to a level which was very low and they were not prepared to do business dealing through the month of Ramadan. Um, plan on your project such that you have some flexibility in what you're going to do. And that is because when you get to the host country, get to the host uh, institution, there are realities on ground which may not allow you to fully execute your plan. So have a plan which allows for flexibility and adjustment in what you want to do. I take time now to consider issues. And that's because when I got to Oman, things moved at a pace that was different. That pace allowed me to think things through, but also talk to my colleagues more extensively. And when issues arose where people in administration of the college had to have a helping hand, it allowed me time to go and introduce myself to those key individuals. And the entire process um, had the impact of not just slowing me down in my work, but making my work more focused. So when I came back, um, I have a better ability to cut through a lot of um, material and come to the issue which, which forms the core or the crux of the material. And that has helped me enormously, personally as well as professionally. In terms of ongoing interactions with the host institution in Oman and my institution, I have talked to several people in my department about possibility of hosting graduate students at our institution. And that's an area that uh, we are working on right now and um, asking the dean of the medical school at the Oman Medical College if we could develop a, pro a program for that. The second item is the research program that I mentored a junior faculty member on. That program is ongoing and I have uh, um, uh, uh, not only the satisfaction of having mentored the person through putting the proposal together, but hopefully seeing the funding come through in another few months' time. And thirdly, um, the students that I interacted with, they have written to me and uh, they have told me about what they learned from my participation in teaching in their classes and that has been an enormous uh, point of satisfaction for me. So I have kept in touch with a few students uh, and uh, th th that has been very rewarding for me. So there was concrete outcome which is continuing as well as an outcome which was less tangible but I think that was very satisfying also.